This is so awesome. I have so much space in the refrigerator for like fresh greens and like there's so much counter space. I'm in heaven right now. Yeah. And we get to use our oven for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel just, again, just like so incredibly lucky. I still feel like we're on vacation in a way, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but one day we'll wake up and I'll cook breakfast and I'll forget like how like novel this whole thing is. And mm. so that day I want to remember this moment and be like, you are living a dream. <laughs> <laughs> We are real adults now. <laughs> that looks good. First breakfast on the boat. <laughs> you hungry? Yes. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, just really happy, you know? Just in awe, still in shock. I just sit here and like look around at everything and like touch it and kind of take it all in. And yeah, it's just still really new and bizarre and amazing to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be an awesome like 10 years on this boat. Yeah, you did a good job researching and getting us here, buddy. Thank you. Mm. You did a good job just being eye candy in all the videos. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So all the other boats at this marina are currently on the hard, all wrapped up and winterized. So we're the only boat that's splashed and in the water. And so because of that, they haven't turned the water on yet on the dock. So uh, I found a spigot at the marina, got one of these like collapsible water jerry jugs. So I am the portable water hose right now. <laughs> sweat. It's either getting hotter or I'm just getting a good workout here. Hmm. That's weird. What's going on? Well, it's getting really low. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, the the pump's just running and running. It kind of looks like we're just out of water. Well, I actually just filled up the tank, so that can't be it. Huh. Well, here, let me... I gotta turn the breaker off. There we go. So, how much did you fill it with? I put 10 gallons in. 10 gallons? Yeah, like five minutes ago. Really? Yeah. That's, so there's no way we're out of water. Huh. Weird. You know a plumber we could call? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I am starting to have an understanding of the freshwater system on this boat. I found that under the sink here in the galley is the freshwater manifold. And there's a couple valves down there. Three of them are labeled tank one, tank two, and tank three. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on the Pacific Seacraft owner's manual, an electronic version I've got on my computer, and this thing is amazing. Like, it's 153 pages of just like information on this boat. It was explaining that there's three tanks on the boat. There's one under the V-berth forward. There's another one here under the sole in the main cabin. And then there's one in the quarter berth, underneath the quarter berth. The other thing I didn't realize is I had no idea which tank we had been filling with those jerry jugs as we've been filling the tanks. We've kind of figured out there's three deck fills on deck and one fill for each tank. And it appears that we've been filling the tank in the back, the tank in the quarter berth. And there's an inspection port there and I was able to confirm that that tank has quite a bit of water in it. I looked at the manifold and we've been drawing water out of tank two, which I assume is the one in the middle. But I wasn't sure 
what tank is the forward one and what tank is the back one. Is it tank one and three or three and one? So in snooping around, I actually found that the aft tank has a label on it and it says tank three. So I went down to the manifold, I've selected tank three. So now is the moment of truth. Let's see if we've got this whole system figured out. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it would be really nice to have some water right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hitting the pump. Okay, I hear it. It's good. So it's just so priming right now? I mean, yeah, hopefully the water will just push all the air out. Come I'm gonna on. turn this one on too. Oh. Oh. Come on, water. Let there be water. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> How long does it take to prime? I mean, I think, I think it should have happened by now. Maybe there's like a clog somewhere, you mm. know? There's a lot of gunk in the bottom of that tank. Oh, really? So maybe the lines are clogged or something. Yeah. I think there's a catchment down here. Okay. This is the strainer, and like we're picking up all kinds of gnarly, gross gunk. I mean, that is some gross stuff. <laughs> Yum. So, I mean, I guess we'll have to try to clean these tanks and just not drink out of them for a while, you know? Yeah. Hey, bud. Yeah. I know you're busy on the water system, but I'm having some issues with the stove. Could you come take a look at it? Yeah, what's up? Well, it lit and then it got real low and it just went out and then now I can't even light it again. So uh, I can like throw together something for lunch, but I just bought all this food. So it'd be nice if I can cook dinner and like go through our food and just, you know, I'm like a working stove. So can you take a break from the water and take a look at the stove? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bob. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get it to light. Um, what Desiree was saying is that, like, she was able to get it to light this morning when she cooked breakfast, and it had plenty of flame and lots of heat, lots of propane flow. But over time, that flame slowly died and died and died until finally it was almost no flame at all, and then it went out, and then she hasn't been able to light it since. And so... I can't figure out what's going on here at the stove. I don't see anything obvious, so I'm gonna go to the propane locker and see if I can figure something out. I'm not entirely sure what the problem is. There's a couple things it could be, but the fact that the amount of gas flow is can be variable tells me that there's a good chance that it's the regulator. The regulator looks pretty old. There's quite a bit of corrosion on it. So I figure I'm just gonna replace the regulator. And it's funny, this is our first boat project that we've done being back in the States. And so I just drove on down to West Marine and they had an exact replacement. That's super awesome. It's hard for me to not understate just how good it makes me feel when I can drive down the road to a West Marine and buy exactly the part that I need for the project I'm working on. We've spent way too much time in Central America waiting weeks to be able to finish a project like this. Whenever I do any modifications to propane systems, I always test for leaks using a 50-50 solution of soap and water. I brush it onto all of the connections. If there's any propane leaking, then the propane will actually cause big bubbles to blow out of the soap. Well, all that work and it looks like I'm gonna have to do it over again. Um, you can see the stove. It started with a fairly good flame, but not long after I lit it, the flame started like going smaller and smaller and smaller. I think what that means is the problem is actually the solenoid, but luckily for us, I actually bought one of those while I was at West Marine as well. The solenoid is an electrically controlled valve that is controlled from a switch in the galley. This switch makes sure that every time you're done cooking, you can close the propane off at the tank so that if you have any leaks in your system, you don't have any propane leaking into your boat. Hey bud, can you hit the uh, solenoid, turn it on? Okay, on. Off. Off. Okay, that looks good. Whew. All right, moment of truce. Truce, 
<laughs> Moment of truth. I think truth. <laughs> Tired? It's getting uh, it's getting late and it's getting cold. So <laughs> like, let's see how how it looks. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot of flow there. It's looking good. That's and that's not looking good. It just went out on its own. Yeah. Great. Well. Yeah. <laughs> it sure did. And now it's not lighting. <laughs> oh. What is going on? What no running heck? water. <laughs> no running water and no and no stove. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. I mean, I'm stoked. The funny thing is like I'm still like very happy to be here, you know. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm doing this work on a boat that we're going to own for a long time, you yeah. know. That feels good. Well, the stove works. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have fixed the problem and then forgot to open the valve at the tank. Last night when you were testing? Last night when I was testing because I was so just like tired. <laughs> so, propane works. <laughs> first, uh, first project on Atticus 2 complete. Yes. Good job, buddy. You did it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Any chance you can take a look at the water system now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will jump on that. There's a raise in this for you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're looking real promising there, young... <laughs> Whippersnapper. Whippersnapper, yeah. Go get her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just get down there and plumb away. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I might have figured it out. <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> so I started looking through a lot of the hoses for the freshwater system just to see if I could find any like clogging or blockages in those lines. Nice butt way. Thanks. <laughs> I noticed that the hose that comes from the tank in the quarter berth that has a label that says tank three on it, that hose leads to the valve at the manifold that is labeled tank one. Mm. So the labels are mismatched. <laughs> so we've been filling what is labeled as tank three and then using the tank three valve and nothing comes out because that valve runs to the forward tank, which is empty. So I just switched the, val the manifold over to tank one. So if I'm right, we can hit the water pressure switch mm -hmm. and the system will pressurize and we should have running water. You All ready? Right. Yeah. Okay, should give it a go. Okay. Okay, it's on. Okay. Can hear it. Yeah! yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that feels good. <laughs> good job, bud. Thank you. Plumber, bud. Yeah, right? <laughs> I saw your plumbers crack a couple times. Yeah, well, I don't like to brag, but... It's there. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> We've always known that getting a newer boat wouldn't ever mean the end of boat projects. But I'd be lying if I said I expected to be knee-deep in projects on day one. That being said, if we've learned anything from our journey so far, it's that anything worth doing is going to require a lot of hard work. I'm just so happy for the opportunity to pour our time and energy, our heart and soul, into what we know will be our home for so many years to come. Mm -hmm.